Michael Schmidt of the New York Times was at the hotel in Switzerland as the roundup began. He live tweeted as police got the room numbers of FIFA officials and went upstairs to arrest them. He continued with more details about the evidence and the suspects. Michael Schmidt joins us now from Zurich. Michael, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. What are the implications of this for soccer and for FIFA? Well, it's really a devastating blow. These are some of the more senior executives that part of FIFA, and it certainly is, brings together a lot of negative attention and confirms the worst fears of a lot of fans that there is rampant corruption within the game. Let's talk about Sepp Blatter, if you will, the, the, the president of FIFA. He has not been charged here. Do you think he's in the clear, Michael? No, I don't think he's in the clear. I think there's some people in the Justice Department that want to see what comes of today's indictments. Do any of these executives want to cooperate? And what type of information can they give the government? And at that point, I think the government will look back and assess and see who else they can, they can go after. Michael, you were at the hotel as the arrests went down. Describe the scene. Well, it wasn't like uh, an American-style SWAT raid or anything. There weren't guys with big guns or bulletproof vests or helmets or anything. It was uh, two dozen Swiss officers in plain clothes. They paraded into the lobby of the hotel. They went straight to the concierge. They asked for the room numbers for the executives, and they quietly headed out into the hotel. When they took, they took the executives out, they gave them a chance to get dressed. They let them pack their bags, and they didn't really put them in handcuffs, and they quietly got them out of there. So it was fairly tame. Uh, Michael, there have been suspicions about this for a while. Why now? Well, I, that's not really clear. The Justice Department has been very aggressive in Foreign Corrupt Practice Act cases and certainly gone after a lot of American companies for this. The other thing that a lot of people would say is this has gone on for a really long time and someone really just finally had to do something about it. The other issue is the United States were, you know, missed out on the World Cup in part of these bidding processes, and some people believe that really got the attention of people in the government. All right, Michael Schmidt, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.